Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do an exercise about the universal law of gravitation. So, the mass of a person is m equals 80 kilograms. First question, calculate the force of gravity okay, of this person on the surface of planet Earth. Here we have the gravitational field on the surface of course. So, first question, W zero which is the force of gravity on the surface is equal to the mass n times g zero okay the mass of that person is equal to 80 kilograms times g zero which is 9.81 newton per kilogram so W0, which is the force of gravity on the surface of planet Earth, is equal to 784 times 8 newtons. Second question. Calculate the force of gravity WH of this person if he is standing on Everest mountain summit. Okay, so second question. Let's draw here our planet, which is Earth. Okay, let's suppose this is Everest. It's Everest. And someone is standing right here. Enjoying the weather, of course. So, what is the distance between the center of Earth and that person is the radius of Earth, okay, radius of Earth, plus this distance, which is h, and it equals, in this case, 8,850 meters, okay, this is the new distance. So, W H the force of gravity at the summit is going to be mass times G. Here we have a new G, okay? This is the field of gravity at the summit. We are going to call it G H, okay? So we have to find G H in order to find W H. GH is related to G0 by this formula G0 times the radius of Earth over radius of Earth plus the height to the power 2. I'm going to prove this formula later, okay? So WH is equal mass of that person times g0 times r squared over r plus h over r plus h squared okay m times g we already have it which is w0 the force of gravity on the surface okay r squared over r plus h squared is equal to 7 or uh, sorry 0 0.997 okay so I'm going to end up with WH 782 question number 3 what becomes the force of gravity if this person is on the moon's surface here the gravitational field is GL equal to G0 divided by 6. Okay, so it's so easy. So third question. Question 3. I'm going to find now the force of gravity of that person. Let's go WL for example. On the moon surface, it's the same thing. It's not going to change. It's always the mass times 
this time we have a new gravitational field which is GL okay and this equals to G0 divided by 6 so the mass we already have it 80 kilograms times G0 divided by 6 so we have 80 times 9 Point eighty one divided by six, and we are going to end up with four eight point ninety two newtons. Here we can notice that the weight of that person is only affected by. The gravitational field g okay and not by the mass that doesn't affect the weight the weight is affected only by the gravitational field question number four prove that the gravitational field strength depends only on the radius okay and the radius and the density okay that's uh, easy so so we all know already that G for any planet is equal to capital G times mass of that planet over the radius squared okay uh, we know that uh, any planet has this almost spherical shape so V is equal to 4 over 3 times pi times radius cubed okay we know also that the density is equal the mass over the volume okay so g is equal capital G times mass here is going to be like the density times the volume over the radius squared over the radius squared so g i'm going to substitute uh, the volume here okay g is equal to uh, the density times for over 3 pi radius cubed divided by the radius to the power 2 so here g is going to be capital G 4 over 3 pi density times the radius okay this is the final result so here we have proven that g is the density and the radius question number five find the force of gravity of that person assuming that he is standing on the surface of planet mass okay so how are we going to do that? Question 5 We have already proven that G of any planet gravitational field depends only on the radius and the density of course we have here the gravitational constant 4 over 3 times pi okay this is the formula that we have found before so so in order to find the force of gravity of that person at on the surface by the mass so it's the mass of that person times g 
mass. So we have to find this g. So I'm going to use this formula. Let's call it formula 1. g for plate mass is going to be big G, which is 6.67 times 10 to the power 11 times 4 over 3 times pi times I'm going to do it the radius which is 3.4 times 10 to the power 6 times the density which is 4000 kilograms per meter cubed okay G mass is going to be 3.8 newtons per kilogram. I'm going to do this to find our force of gravity. Force of gravity on the planet is going to be 80 kilograms times 3.8 Newton per kilogram so it's so it's 300 newtons okay